A Mid-Ghana office of the Ghana Education Trust Fund has been inaugurated in the capital of the Ashanti region on Monday, August 3, 2020 at Asukwa. The key function of the office, according to the Get Fund Administrator, Mr. Richard Ampofubuadu, will help to provide technical and operational support for monitoring and evaluation of projects sponsored by the Trust Fund. He updated that the office will have an oversized jurisdiction in the Ashanti, Bono East, Ahafo and Western North regions. Since the inception of the Ghana Education Trust Fund in August 2001, the core mandate of Jet Fund per its enabling act, the Jet Fund Act 2000 and Act 581, has been to provide funding to supplement government's efforts for the provision of educational infrastructure and facilities within the public sector from the pre-tertiary to the tertiary level. In this effort, to discharge this important mandate, Jet Fund has attained many successes and has made significant contributions towards supporting educational, education service delivery in this country. The Jet Fund Mid Ghana office we are inaugurating today will have oversight jurisdiction in the Ashanti, Bono, Bono East, Ahafo, and Western North regions. It will also have additional oversight jurisdiction over the northern, northeast, upper east, and upper west regions in the interim. This office is the first of three of its kind, and is one of two currently in the country. It is intended that the last will be established in Tamale, the northern regional capital. I believe very soon. Speaking at the inaugural ceremony, the Minister of Education, Honorable Dr. Matthew Upoku Prempe, spoke that the office is the first of its kind in the region and will be considered the principal instrument for the acquisition of knowledge skills, value, attitude, and for improving the overall efficiency and productivity of the labor force. He addressed that the president is of the unshakable view that for the country to place itself on the path of prosperity, it must necessarily lift the financial barriers that impede access to senior high education as the minimum. He commended the administrators of Get Fund for carrying out project monitoring and evaluation on the permanent basis through the acquisition of zonal offices. The first ever creative art school is being built in Kumasi, Kwadaso. And the model senior high technical school is being built also in Daba. Government is also building five size focus schools at Akrobie, Pasepe, Weja, Abobosu, and Awaso to champion government's intention at improving access to science education at the secondary level. Two existing schools, namely Diasu Community School and Kwasi Senior High Technical School, are being upgraded to a model status with additional infrastructure to model our model schools that we are constructing. Ladies and gentlemen, in the past, GEF Fund relied solely on supervising project, project consultants. In terms of monitoring and evaluation function with regards to its sponsored projects. This approach has had a lot of shortfalls and that did not ensure enhanced project delivery. In fact, for good project management, Monetary evaluation starts before the project commences. And so when government has decided that it is going to carry out project monetary evaluation on a permanent basis, thus the building of the zonal offices, we can only say, well done, get fun. That should have been part and parcel of your job from day one. But it is never too late. Prophet Dominic Fobi challenged that the inauguration of the workplace would enable the Board of Trustees to be resolute in their drive to determine that Get Fund is well positioned and benefit from strategic and innovative leadership in the education ministry. He assured that Get Fund would continue to revive and make available funding to supplement government's effort for the provision of educational infrastructure and facilities within the public sector.